country, Kentucky Senate race. The Secretary of State there, Allison Lundergren Grimes, is trying to unseat the Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, the man who may find himself running the Senate if he can survive her challenge. The race, though, may not hinge on such major issues. Instead, it might come down to, in some ways, a flap over burgers and wages and double entendres. CNN investigative reporter Chris Freights traveled to the bluegrass state for this report. In her race to defeat Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell, Allison Lundergan Grimes has barnstormed Kentucky, talking up her support for raising the minimum wage. I'm fighting for all Kentuckians, uh, all uh, working Americans across this nation. I don't believe $7.25 an hour raises a family of four above the poverty level. So you might be surprised to find out that Grimes' family business pays some tipped employees only minimum wage. Here in Kentucky, Servers at huge ass burgers. Yep, you heard that right. Make just two dollars and thirteen an hour. That's the minimum wage for tipped employees, and it hasn't budged since the nineties. The minimum wage for workers who aren't making tips is seven twenty five an hour, a figure that last increased five years ago. So what gives? We went to Kentucky to find out. For me, it's about making that sure that hardworking Kentuckians have a bright future. And that future includes having not just a minimum wage, but a living wage. And at the restaurant owned by Grimes' family, a living wage includes one that depends on tips. My family is not in this race. I'm on the ballot. What Grimes doesn't mention is that while she doesn't own the restaurant, she did do some of its legal work, signing the business and corporation documents and representing the restaurant in a lawsuit. The minimum wage isn't the only issue where the restaurant doesn't practice what Grimes preaches. On the campaign trail, she's been an advocate for women's issues. Her camp even accused Republicans of sexism. I am the Kentucky woman who my Republican colleagues here in this state so gentlemanly refer to as an empty dress. But check out what's on the menu at Huge Ass Burgers. Charlotte's Rack, sure to be voted biggest rack. Ribs named after her mom, and Abby's huge ass, a burger named after her sister. And they sell souvenir items like this check out my buns apron. When we tried to ask Grimes about her family's use of double entendre, she walked away surrounded by security, leaving us holding the greasy burger bag. With two weeks to go, the race remains tight, but national Democrats have started putting their money elsewhere. Not a great sign for Grimes. Jake? Chris Freights, thank you so much. And this program